Sun Tzu was pursued by the minions of Dong Zhuo, the tireless dictator of the West who now controls the Han court. The fools were put into an early grave. The Han Empire has run its course. Sun Tzu leads his men to the outlying farms of the Qin Commandery. In the blood of his enemies, the foundation of his kingdom is built. In Yang Zhao, his first real test appears. Facing down a large ambush, Xiao Hodun and Sao Tzu plunge into the fray, killing countless enemies all for the sake of survival. The ruthless Tao Qian kills Sao Tzu, Sao Tzu's father. In his way to Tao Qian is Wang Long, who suffers an untimely demise. Sao Tzu now looks to the east, ready to bring his fury down upon Tao Qian, and there is word that Liu Bei may also suffer his wrath. We're gearing up to destroy Tao Qian. Instead of going after his farmland, I would like to take his city of Donghai. Let's end our turn right now. Eventually, I'll go after Wang Shao over you to the north. Dong Min, you want me to become your vassal? <laughs> yeah, no, not happening, buddy. You You're really us. far from me. You've got to go through my wall, Yuan Shu, before you can reach me. Yeah, my goal is to conquer to the east and later to the north. Okay, so we have a new leader for the Han Empire. Good luck. You won't be in that position for very long. Who's in my court? Ah, I don't really care then. I've got plenty of people to serve me right now. Okay, it's time for me to head on down. Or I wonder, could I reach the farmland in one turn? Let's find out. Wang Xiao is trying to. What a shame. You have quite a few men, but you really don't have a chance at inflicting heavy casualties on me, so I will auto-resolve the battle. It's way too minor of a fight. If they have an officer, I'll do it. But if they're just a simple garrison, there's really no point. Time for me to occupy the farmland of Ping Qing. Wang Xiao could either go back home, or he could go after the city of Donghai. Oh, I'm now by Liu Bei. Liu Bei, you own everything over here in Dong? Huh. You do own quite a bit, I suppose. I'll have to watch out for him. Wang Xiao is now limited to only, I believe, one location. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. Okay, while we're here, we can replenish further. No one leveled up. We have a lot of money, too. I could convert that for more replenishment. I've got plenty of food, so more replenishment for right now would be ideal. Let's go look at my commanderies. I can build another building in Yang Zhao. Okay, I can upgrade my livestock farm into a livestock estate. If I do that, I'll have a much larger garrison. And we can again end our turn. You would not need fear us. He really wants my water clock. I'm not gonna let that happen, buddy. It is up to you. Our power is comparable. If I could just make a little bit more money, I could potentially have a larger army. Tao Qian seems to be unable to really rally up more soldiers. That works to my favor. What's over here? Yeah, another camp completed. I could heal up for one more turn, then go attack. Or I could go attack right now. If I go attack right now, it's going to be quite dangerous. Let's see here. Swap unit. Interesting. I'd rather give it over to another retinue, but I suppose I cannot do that. I could change it up to a different type of unit. I would like for all of my bowmen to be under the command of Guoji. Or Guojia. Only feeble wills seek compromise. Satsao has very high authority. We've already gone through the bar one time. We're at 168 out of 200. He provides a lot of satisfaction to his people and a lot of unit morale as well. I'll keep my archers for right now, though I would like to recruit more. I lack the money to support them properly. Here we go. Sao Qian, my fight you. It's going to be damaging, but I have many supplies right now. I wonder, do I have more than you? That would be great. Okay, by tunneling beneath the defenses, a crafty attacker can overcome any wall. We'll do that. It'll take two turns, but we'll do that. Let's continue our siege. Once we beat him, we can heal up for a little while, then worry about Wang Xiao or Liu Bei. 
Maybe we could even have a larger army. I doubt it, but that would be cool. Let's go over to diplomacy. I don't have a lot of credibility right now. Liu Bei potentially wants a non-aggression pact. The Yellow Turban Rebellion wants a peace treaty. No. Cao Qian wants a peace treaty. Not surprising. And Kong Zhou, you want to be able to move through my lands right now. If you pay me, Excellent. maybe. Talk. Let's go over here real quick. Yeah, why don't you pay me a bit of money? How much will you give me? Well, let's try 1,000 to start with. That won't work out. Okay, let's make it work. They'll give me 621. I'll take that. Your proposal is sound. Hey, it all adds up. It'll allow me to invest my lands even more. It's in their turn again. As I told you before, I'm very happy that it turns in quickly. It allows us to do so very much. Alright, what's over here? What do I have? A friendship forming. The bonds of friendship will be China's salvation. You see that two of your warriors are spending more and more time together. Laughing, training, ribbing, such a bond can only be beneficial. Guo Jia and Xiao Ho Dun are now closer. Good, they should be. Alright. These two are getting along. And what's over here? My wife is now back home. I'll probably send her back out. Wei Yi now has a new capital. Not good for you. I'll come back after him later. Okay, let's have a look around here real quick. Who could I send out? Oh, she'll be back in one turn. I've got to wait for one turn. All right, about those supplies again. How's it going, man? Oh, he'll be losing soldiers because he didn't have enough supplies in reserve. Which means he might sally out. <laughs> oh, he's done for. Wipe them out. Let's end her turn again. There's really nothing I can build up. Oh, wait, hold on. We have a new reform to pick up. All right, what do I want now? More income from my peasantry or more public order? More public order sounds fantastic. But what about getting even more food? I suppose before we do that, we should get more income from my peasantry. We'll get 15% more by getting register of land and population. Yeah, there we go. I'm telling you, I've got to pinch my pennies. I don't mean to be a miser, but I've got to make money. I've got to try to do a little bit better when it comes to keeping my money up. You peace. He wants a peace treaty. He'll even pay me. All of his money, too. Tachion, you killed my father. There is no price you can really put on that. Yuan Shao is now fighting Yuan Shu. I told you, I wanted those two to fight. And I believe the two of them like me a lot. <laughs> that works to my advantage. Wei Yi is now gone for good. Wang Xiao has signed a peace treaty with the Han Empire. Good, good. There's a foreign trespasser in my lands right now. Wang Xiao. That's okay. I'll get him later. I can't upgrade any buildings at all. I could raise up my taxes, but people would be quite unhappy. Ping Ching. Chin makes me a bit more money. I suppose I could change up my buildings later. Yeah. I probably should. Okay, that would be building upkeep. I pay a little bit of upkeep. Not a lot. 80 coins, and that's really it. I could increase the income that we gain from down here. Yep, let's do that. She's going back out to make me more money. Now, Tachion, if I wait things out, you'll have no shot. I'll give you a shot. Let's go fight the battle. It'll be bloody, but... I want to kill him, and I want to watch him die, too. Another battle is now beginning. Tao Jian was a warlord who is best known for being the governor of Shu province. In 193, go, go. Sa Cao's father was Whoa, traveling through the kidding. province to join Sa Cao in Yuan province. Tao Jian's subordinate, Jiang Kai, attacked a baggage train, killing his father. That was a really bad choice. I'm about to go into a more traditional view. That way we can make out all of the unit cards. Let me know what you prefer. I know that it can be difficult to really discern who's out there on the field, largely due to the fact that we're not looking at giant monsters or things like that. But from time to time, I will go back into cinematic view. Like right now, all we're doing is using our trebuchet and allowing Shohodun to duel. 
We need him to win another fight. If we're able to beat our enemy over here, saying Ba, they'll have no true melee champion to defend them. It's about to be a very bloody battle. No matter what I do, I'm still fighting for a town. And over here is Daqian. That old guy has been here for far too long. We have to get rid of him. I like how they use their shields to try to block my triple attacks. They drop dead quickly. Shahudan is nearly done with his battle. In a few more blows, our enemy will be dead. We can move up our ranged units in order to set off many other volleys to finally get rid of their units right over here. My trebuchet is fantastic though. I love using it and I will continue to use it. The crew itself is actually becoming better too. They're beginning to rank up. He's about to die. Shahu Dun is way too powerful for these guys, man. I'm always shocked that they want to challenge him. But I suppose if you beat a legend, you become a legend. We're nearly done. Then we can go watch the entire battle. Trust me, there's a lot more to it. And he's dead. He won't be getting back up. Goodbye, Zeng Ba. Yeah, Zeng Ba was a general who served Tao Jian, later Lu Bu, and finally Sao Tzu. And over here, we can see again what I'm doing. I'm trying to use all of my trebuchet shots to break down their ranged units. If they have fewer archers, I won't have to worry about them later on. Let's have a look around here real quick. You can see that they have quite a few soldiers. I only have 2,802. Thankfully, because we were able to damage the walls, I don't have to worry too much about the towers. The towers alone would be able to easily eradicate me. I wouldn't be able to beat their garrison and their towers too. Even if a shot misses, as long as one hits, one group is already broken and running. And now Tao Qian is all alone. Though he does have many, many men. Saber militia, archer militia. He's got a few well-trained guys somewhere, right? I hope he does for his sake. Standard archers are over here. Medium bow infantry. They're a bit more beefed up. Sure. Yeah, Tao Qian had a pretty good relationship with Liu Bei. I'm actually shocked Liu Bei was an ally to him already. If you look at my format for my army setup, Sat Cao and Shohudan are currently charging forward. My bows will be moving forward eventually. I'm using my crossbows right now, which have excellent armor piercing damage. They're able to really bring it to any foes who pop up. I just wanted to kill whoever was in that gap. I was wondering if I could actually break down their gate. I found out that, that would take a very long time. But right now, we're using our crossbows to weaken this one group over here. It's a direct shot into where they're at. All the while, my trebuchet continues to hit more enemies. The goal is to whittle them down, to break them down. That way, when I do charge in, we'll have a better shot at really retaining our infantry's numbers. Horsemen will move in later too. I do like the idea of taking my time and in the future dealing even more damage. Satsao would eventually invade Shu province and kill countless people. If you want to really point out one of the few events that really marks Satsao as a potential villain or whatever, it would be that invasion. He was ticked off. Don't kill his father. Come on. It's, it's a really bad idea. And I wanted to be sure that Satsao would try to kill Daoqian. How many have you killed? Not really? Enough, He's even knocking down people. I Amazing didn't know they would actually take up blades. And anyway, Satsao is currently moving around. The goal is to eventually find our enemy, Daoqian. They had some G militia pop out, but they're not doing too much now. And again, my attacks continue to hit their archer militia. They stand no chance. They're trying to hold over here. It's a great defensive location where they can shoot at me as I run in. I mean, look at where they're at right now. They could easily get many kills if I didn't try to hit them. Here comes another trebuchet strike. Taking down quite a few. Each battle that we fight in our current episode is quite important. Now my archers are moving up. Sure, they're in a loose formation, but they will still lose many. They're doing a pretty good job though at releasing volley after volley. They can kind of gauge where they might need to have their arrows land. And because I have more archers who are fully intact, we're able to hit more of them even if they might have a better position or more armor. 
I will say these town battles are definitely more involved and costly for me. Not that I really mind. Satsao and Shahudan are now Destroy fighting together. Them. They're right in the town. My goal is to eventually take, or to take parts of this town. If I can bring my archers in, they can get more direct shots on our enemies. Satsao is quite angry. The fires of his vengeance are beginning to spread. You're right, we won't be showing any mercy. I do feel bad for the people, but... Kill them! Here we go. go for the legs. These two are charging right in. There's really not too much to show just yet. But now Satsao is trying to go kill Tachian. And while I'm doing that, my archers are now moving inside. They'll lose quite a few whenever they get into position. Because, I mean, they have large units and it takes time to get everyone into position. And while we do so, my trebuchet is continuing to fire salvos after salvos, hitting units all over here. They're well geared. It'll take a minute for me to be able to take them all out. You can see how many they have left. Much of the town has been destroyed already. I am surprised you can even think at all. Dang. We're taking control of their tower. We're now taking control of their tower. Well, Gia is doing a great job of commanding our soldiers while our commander and our warrior go on to fight. Shahudan is doing a great job. My usual goal with the hero is to mix up their archers and keep them from wanting to stay in still. That way we can weaken them. If we zoom out and look over here, Satsao is fighting alone against G Militia. Not really a great target. He's still trying to kill Taoqian. And right now, I'm streaming in with my horsemen. They're coming in to help out South South. We're gonna we're probably gonna lose a lot. We're gonna lose a lot in this battle. But we can't leave him alone. We've gotta go take out more archers. If I don't do so now, and I play defensively, man. A lot of people will not be going home. We've already hit their archers right over here. We'll stay in a more informational kind of viewpoint right now. That's how is about to kill Tao Chian. I would like to make sure that we see that. Hopefully we can. He's currently chasing the old guy. Then we can go after other parts of the map, but it's very important that we watch him kill Tachian, at least to me. Oh man, he did it. Tachian was taken down in one hit. He face planted completely. And over here we can see that now they have no leaders. My crossbows are out of bolts, and my archers are continuing to release volley after volley over here. That's how the battle is playing out. The Battle of Donghai District. We're in the year 194, and we're about to expand our lands quite a bit. Our success looms large. You're right about that, Gojia. So that's how I'm still fighting over here. My horsemen are now moving in for a great charge. So that's how we do it. That's how we take them on. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you see it, if you want to be entertained, fortunately for you, our next enemy will likely be Liu Bei. I wonder if he has Guan Yu out on the field. That would be bad for me. Jing Fei alone would be a nightmare to fight. And now, we're taking our time, bringing in more infantry. We want to be sure to bring the men carefully. We can use our archers to take many hits. It's really about retaining my infantry who can sweep in later and really take control of the map. The enemy Even though face. archers are deadly, what they have I? a limited amount of arrows they can use before they're out. And they're quite fragile too. I actually like that a lot. The bounce feels very good. You have to really think about what you're doing. And because you've got so many soldiers, you can actually maintain a formation that can protect your lines but also still shift and move. That's how he's now over here taking control of this portion of the map. Our horsemen are taking a lot of damage, but G Militia will do that. The enemy warriors are running. Ha! There's only a few who remain. It looks like, though, that we've pretty much won. Right now, we're just being cruel and shooting down people who are still alive. That is a lot of arrows. Watching Zhao Qian die like that was incredible. 
but we've won now. Look forward to another battle very, very soon. Well, <laughs> maybe not too soon. I've got to prepare. Liu Bei will be a really difficult foe to bring down. We took Dong Hai. They have over 500,000 people here. They're about to lose 20%. We shall enjoy there we are. Oh, look at that. You've got another family member. He won't be there for very long. A new mission issued. Despite your best intentions, it is clear that the time of the Han is ending. The only question is, with the Empire falling, who then will rule China? Whilst other warlords stake their claim, making phrases lose their territory, they cannot be trusted to wield power, but you can. Perhaps only you ever could. It is time to rise above these squabbles and become something greater. A warlord worthy of following. Yeah, one day I will become a duke. But I've already gone up in power. My power has increased. Oppression and war lie heavy upon the land. It falls to you to reverse these dark tidings. Your power grows, but will need to grow more if your ambitions are to be realized. Very, very good. My credibility is now going up by plus five for quite a few turns. And another challenge completed. We now gain more population growth, more public order, and more income from our peasantry. Goodbye, Tao Ying. I told you he wouldn't last for very long. <laughs> A new challenge issued. Through cunning, the capital is saved. It should be the primary concern of all to rescue the emperor from the clutches of tyranny. Yet in securing the imperial seat, one can expect such proximity to power to benefit them greatly. That won't happen for a while. But I will be out there. One day. Yeah, once I'm done conquering down here, I'll begin to move up there. I wonder what benefits it might give me. I really have no idea. Okay. That's my challenge. Character developments. We have another character in our court. I don't want to hire anyone. And we have taken over a great city. Sao Qian was killed by Sao Tsao on his own. Zeng Ba died too. Yeah, trying to fight Shao Hodun was a really bad idea. I wonder how many he's killed now. It's a lot though. Alright, now we can wait here for a turn. Let's repair the entire city. Look, it wasn't my fault they died. We still have plenty of people in the city. Okay, good. I'm gonna wait here now. Ooh, there's a fishing port I could take before I go on. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, who am I sending out? Yeah, Sao Ren, come on. You've got a job to handle over here in Donghai. And we will go take that fish import too. I'll repair everything over here, then look at what I might want for later. A county school. Here's a private workshop. It's all about commerce. Yeah, we should make a lot of money here. Not bad. Okay. Now I do have a few new positions to hand out. Who wants a new position? Let's have a look over here. Zhou Yuan, I know that you kind of want one. Zhou Duan, you really want one. I'll make you my chancellor. Position effects, more income from peasantry, and he'll be happy for quite some time. There we go. Now we're at 76 happiness or satisfaction. For an administrator, who would make for a really good administrator? Guo Jia would. And he'll be quite happy to have a new position. I'll give it to him right now. Well, I really shouldn't. I should promote him instead. I need to send someone in that role. Who's actually being used as some manner of administrator. Sao Ren. Ah, right. You two are busy. Alright, fine, fine. I'll let you do it. Take it right now. Yeah, whenever they're out on a job, they can't be given that role. Or any role, I believe. Either way, that will give you more money. See, even though I might not be using him directly just yet for that type of administration role, I still get position effects, and we can change that later on. Okay, you can lord over Jen. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. We'll do it. And he should be quite happy, too. Let's go check on everyone else around here. My wife is pretty angry. She wants a better role. <laughs> How 
about I promote you? There we are. Are any of you really un... I can't believe it's my wife, though. My wife is unhappy. She's like, hey, look, I've been working hard out here. And I do understand that, but <laughs> give me a minute. You haven't been fighting on the field. Okay, Shaho done. What shall they give you now? Guerrilla deployment. A decent idea. Vengeance sounds really good. It's a passive buff. Okay, enabled if not routing. And under fire. More melee damage base and more melee damage for armor piercing too. More campaign movement range. But well, you're not commanding our army, so I'm going to give you vengeance instead. He might lose his composure, but that's okay. No, I'm not going to promote him yet. Alright, who can I recruit now? I could use more infantry. I can't really afford more horsemen. Well, to be fair, I can't really afford much more at all. Alright, let's end our turn. We think this will meet with your approval. You want to become the Emperor. If I agree, I don't know if I can back out. I'm not going to do that. If you wish it. Our power is balanced. We're equitable when it comes to our balance of power. I wonder if Yuan Shao is stronger. He might be. He could have many allies too, which makes him stronger. Dong Min is now at peace with Wang Kuang. We have a plague hitting. There goes some of my food. A huge plague of locusts descends upon the fields of China. Many crops are ruined and massive food shortages occur between all people, forcing some to turn to cannibalism in order to survive. Well, not here. We have food here. <laughs> For other factions, they're going to be in trouble if they're hit by it too. I wonder if they're being hit by that plague as well. I hope they are. The Han Empire has a new capital. We have another building completed. I'm now making a lot more money. Heck yeah. Let's go look at my commanderies again. Ning Zhao, you're currently upgrading. Shen, you're making me a lot of money. Good, good, good. Well, let's go down here to Donghai, the fishing port. I've got some money to make. I suppose we can march there. Yeah. Alright, then in one turn I should be able to make it to the fishing port and then we'll have the entire commandery under my command. Let's go look at what I want to upgrade now while I'm here. Okay, my income is going up. I've got a lot of commerce here, a bit of industry. Not bad. I could get rid of my county school. I think I will for right now. We'll check on what else I might want. And over here I could have a lodge. Which doesn't provide a lot of income, but it's really not too bad, and it is fairly cheap. I suppose I will take it then. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's end our turn once more. Then we may go after Wang Xiao. Though I would love it if I could weaken Liu Bei. His officers will be mighty. And his army, I don't know how large it is. Thankfully, though, a lot of these towns are pretty close together. What now? Your general has a reputation for discipline, but has recently started taking sadistic pleasure in punishment. Even people accused of imagined slights or misdeeds are flogged. Their suffering justified as deterrence to future crimes, and there are few soldiers in their army who remain unscarred by the whip. Shaho Dun, what are you doing? Calm down. Oh, a red thoroughbred. Now that's really nice. I'll probably give that to Shaho Dun. Not for flogging people, I'm not into that, but for being a great dueler or duelist. Okay, South Sal. We can take it. Oh, they have a little army right out there. Huh. We can delegate that battle. They're not of a major threat to me. Time to occupy. Now we own the entire commandery, right? We do. All right, we have a fishing village providing more food, more prestige as well. I'm getting more credibility too. I'm currently upgrading a building. I could afford to upgrade another building, like over here in Ping Ching. If I upgrade my camp, it would provide more replenishment. Well, that I do like. Let's do it. I also want that larger garrison. It's right by two future enemies. 
Let's look over here. Yeah, there's my commandery. Gojia finally ranked up. Gojia and Sansa are getting along. They are now oath sworn. Okay, Gojia, what am I going to give you? Well, you're not administering any commandery. I'll let you keep what you have for now. Not that you really need it. It's only to give him more resolve. What's over here? That would be more satisfaction and replenishment. You know what? Take that instead. You have your decent armor. You don't need a new weapon, do you? No, you do not. All right. Let me look over his abilities real quick. Oh, I do like that. Precision would be fantastic. But what about over here? A higher chance to capture enemy officers after a battle. Increases rate of wall and sediment damage during sieges. Down here would provide, let's see, more resolve as well. These are all really tough. I think for now, I want to get patience. Having a higher chance to capture my enemies sounds pretty darn good to me. Shahudan, let's give you a new mount. Yeah, take that. Enjoy. His resolve went down a bit, but he's got a lot already. No, I'm not going to give you more of that. I think you have everything that you need. Sansa, when do you rank up? Okay, not for a while. Let's go have a look right now at my characters. Okay, Lady Beyond, you're currently at the court. You're currently out there working in the field, my family member. Oh yeah, Lady Beyond, let's give you a clay rat. She's like, gee, thanks a lot. Either way, she's a little bit happier. Not very happy, but a little bit happier. Now, Sauren, or Sauren, let's give you a builder. I'll try to improve any location I have. Okay, we can end our turn. Some things are better gained What do you want? Trade. A trade agreement. You want me to give you food and you want my clay axe. Let's negotiate a little bit. I won't give you my clay axe, but I will give you more food. Let's find... Oh, wait, that's way too much food, huh? Yeah. Never mind. We're not going to do that. No. You it's a minor item, and it would be a lot more money, but I would rather find another person who wants to trade with me who doesn't want my toys. Those belong to me. Someone made them for me. I don't know who yet, but I'm very thankful for all of them. Let's go over to Diplomacy to find out who would like to have a trade agreement. Oh, only you on Shao? Well, shoot. I won't be fighting him for now. What do you want? You want a little bit of my money. We'll make more from trade. It will probably do. Yeah, sure. Why not? Liu Bei wants a non-aggression pact. Satsao actually gave a chance to Liu Bei early on in his career, but Liu Bei took advantage of that. I don't trust him. Is he wrong? I don't want to fight you, Come but in. I have a feeling Talk. that you could give me more money. Okay, you don't have any family members. How much will you give me? Oh. Not really anything. <laughs> I'll take what I can. It is there we are. He's very poor. He does not have a lot of food. Okay. Yuan Shu. It looks like you're doing okay. Yuan Shao. He's doing okay as well. Interesting. I'm only fighting two factions right now. Who else do I want to fight Yuan Shao? I could get Liu Bei to go fight Wang Shao. But I don't think I want that either. It's got to be a major, major faction. Gong Min has some lands over here. Yuan Shu is still fighting his own war. Let's go over to negotiate. A joy to see you. Okay, Yuan Shu. You don't have any loot at all, do you? Nope. Well then, forget you. I'll check on that later, though. I don't think I want to try to find some item in every location. Whenever I have a lot of money, I can worry about that. I don't really need an undercover spy, not right now. What about that little army? Okay, it really depends on how large my garrison is. Not very. Yeah, it's a very tiny one. I could chase that little army away. I'll try to. Oh good, they're gone now. It's 
better for me to do that now. It'll give me a chance to Another gain more experience. I'll take replenishment again. Another captured officer. He's joined me. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at him. Anyway, let's march back. We don't need to wait in foreign lands right now. That wouldn't benefit me at all. Right, let's have a look over here. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Hold on. Do you have any decent loot? Yeah, let's go check on that real quick. He could have some decent loot. I could make him a spy instead. That's another idea. No, you don't really have anything at all. Mm -mm. You're pretty bad. I don't really want you here then. You're taking my money from me. Alright, we'll get rid of him. If I do that, people will be unhappy, but I'll gain more money. Goodbye. Later, pal. My people are still pretty happy. They're like, eh, that kind of sucks, but do we really care that much? Nope. Fear of assassins. You boast to your guards of a sixth sense that protects you from assassination and conspire with a servant to prove it, promising a handsome reward. The next day, the servant arrives to play their part with a dagger secreted beneath their robes. With all your officers watching, you decide to act. I shall reveal him. Okay, we've got a plus two cover cost for all enemy spies for three turns. I won't kill him, that would be rude. With a cry of assassin, you had the guard seize and imprison the servant, releasing and rewarding them a few days later. That worked out pretty well for him. Alright, let's get a move on. It'll take me a few turns to make it over here to the border, but we can do it. I know where I want to go. I finally have more money to recruit more units too. Sounds out, why don't you go pick up a few more basic militiamen? And Gojia. No, I don't need much more. I'm out of money anyway. Okay, let's end our turn after we get a new reform. It's about time. I would love to focus on more food, but another administrator would be ideal too. Let's take that. Having only one to send out is really not that great, but having two, hey, that's pretty good. Let's end our turn again. I'm trying to work on my economy just this a bit more. End in tragedy. What now? Everyone wants my toys, and I don't really care to have a peace treaty with him. He's very As far from me. Yeah, he won't really be much of an issue. By the time I reach Wang Shao, I'll be able to destroy him in one battle. Then we can go over to Liu Bei and fight him as well. Let's keep on moving. I wonder what's happening around me right now. Yuan Shu is doing fine. Yuan Shao is way up north. My money has gone up again. Dong Hai is currently unhappy. What can I do about that? Local characters, huh? Hmm. If I don't tax you for a little while, it could raise your happiness further. Let's do that. Plus four to public order. Yeah, I'm going to build a temple. I'll change it later, but for now, I want my temple. Let's keep that public order. Here we go again. Every so often in a campaign, you just need to end turns. You just have to get to a new location. I've managed so much. I mean, it would be really weird if I couldn't just do that. How's my replenishment? It's actually going very well. My Ting is now fighting Dong Min. Oh, really? Liu Biao is now fighting Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu will be weakened. Unnecessary delays. A collapsed bridge in one of your settlements is causing delays in food and goods logistics. Though there are enough materials and the construction work is simple, with enough bodies to carry it out, progress is prevented by two squabbling village elders. Each blames the other's grandfather for inferior building work on the old bridge, and demands they fund the new one. After time is wasted searching village records to prove their claim, you hear of this and decide it is time to appoint administrators who can ensure the village is run with a practical and measured mind. Oh, okay. Plus two to my construction time. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> That's okay. Income is going up again. Wow. And here's a new ancillary. I wonder who I'll give that to. I haven't decided yet. Gojia, maybe. Two new buildings. Everything is going well outside of my bridge falling. Okay, people are much happier. Let's keep on working on that. I'm going to build a Confucian temple. 
If I've got the money for it, I might as well do it. And Sun Sal. You'll be there in one more turn. We'll look at diplomacy again in a few more turns, but I don't believe I too much will have this. changed. Yuan Shu would like to form some manner of coalition. No, As I don't want that. I'm not here to get entangled in alliances. Hopefully he's not too angry about it. I'm sure he's a little bit angry, but I do have a lot of credibility, which we'll use later on when we need to. But for now, things are fine. I don't want Yuan Shao to declare war on me. Everyone is now fighting Yuan Shu. Wow. Han Sui is now fighting Dong Min. And we have a child who came of age. Man, he aged quickly. Living in harmony. Now, Sao Ren and Sao Ang are really getting along. To some duties of highest calling, those who share that belief will doubtless become friends. And so it is with these two, whose shared dedication to their lord and, and country joins them together. I nearly said county. Yet they know that their friendship, strong as it is, is nothing next to their sacred burdens. True. Very true. We have another officer in our courts, but again, I don't need anyone at all. We are good to go. Let's go assign a new administrator. It'll probably be my wife. She's again very, very angry. I'll call her back. There we go. One more turn, I'll be able to assign her to that role. She'll do a much better job. I'll probably move Guojia, but he'll be angered by that act. All right, I'm gonna give you satisfaction and also resolve. My wording was weird. Sansal, what do you have? Oh yeah, you're reducing corruption. That'll work. No one leveled up. And Restore Liu Bei. Did you conquer that temple? Oh, you did. Absolutely Who's not. over here? Yushu. We've got Wu Tao. And over here, a third character. Ching Yumin. I suppose I need to beat them. If I go Are over to your large the town, that would be ideal too. But let's go over to the temple. He probably has more than one army, but I don't really know if that's true or not. Okay. Chen. What can I build over here for you? I suppose we could upgrade. We're beginning to near our capacity for people. All right, we'll do it. I've got the money for it. Okay, time for a new assignment. I will send out today my child. Oh man, that is a lot more food. That's my boy. He knows about food. <laughs> okay, end our turn. And there is Liu Bei. Did he come back? Or... Again, does he have more than one army? If he has more than one army, With I'm in trouble. Blessing. Okay, Liu Dai wants a marriage. Their character will join our faction. I don't really know too much about her, but I suppose it could be okay. You're positive towards me? Yeah, sure. Wisdom met by wisdom. I'll do it. Let that character join my faction. If you don't die, maybe one day I can vassalize you. Dong Min and Yuan Shu are no longer fighting. Interesting. Those two were married. Dong Hai. I can finally make money from you again because we built our temple. Okay, let's upgrade our private workshops into a craftsman shacks. We'll get more money from commerce. And it's finally time to go fight a battle. Okay, Liu Bei. Who do you have here? You've got Niu Zong. Zhang Fei. Oh, Zhang Fei will be a challenge. And many other units, too. If I go take the temple, how large is the garrison? That's what I need to know. Not very. No. Hmm. You could reach my farmland if I don't attack you now. That's a, that's a really tough one. Hmm. Well, let's go in. Let's try it out. How bad is it? Oh, it's pretty bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's give it a go. Maybe Shaho Dun can beat Zhang Fei. We're now fighting a battle against Liu Bei. Guan Yu isn't here, but Zheng Fei is here. That is one large man, and he's going to cause a few issues for me. Let's have a look right now 
at what is going on. I do have my trebuchet. My trebuchet alone will end up killing many of their units before they reach me. Hopefully well over three to four to five hundred. We look at what they have right now. There's a lot of G militia. Behind them, they have many archers too. Over here, we have Liu Bei and another officer called Niu Zong. On the left flank, we're looking at a lot of horsemen. Ah, they have Jian Sword Guard Cav. And that's really it. But, Jing Fei alone could potentially beat any one of us. I don't know if I want to duel him. On my you side, like I've got a fairly standard formation. I my wife. That's a compliment. My that's really funny. Aid. Anyway, my archers and crossbows are now moving up. I want them to scrap with our enemies initially. Then, they'll pull back. Then my infantry will move forward. The goal is to keep Zhang Fei busy. Their horsemen are moving. I only have one group of my own horsemen on my left flank right now. And one on my right flank. Eventually, that horse group on the left flank will need to move over here to the right flank. That way we can counter their own horsemen. There we go. More shots from my trebuchet. Zhang Fei was a military general who joined Liu Bei with Guan Yu. They held a close friendship and eventually took an oath of brotherhood. In 194, Liu Bei succeeded Cao Qian as the governor of Shu province. Zheng Fei wanted to kill a fellow called Cao Bao, a former officer under Cao Qian. Cao Bao had to get aid from Liu Bu, who was also taking shelter under Liu Bei. Liu Bu would attack and take over a location. GFP. And now, a duel is happening. Let's have a look at who's fighting. Cao Cao is now fighting Niu Zong. Liu Bei would eventually request aid from Cao Cao. Together, they would take on Lu Bu and defeat him. Check out what's happening right now. Zhang Fei is still moving forward. We're about to easily eliminate their officer. Let's go look at Liu Bei if you haven't seen him yet. He's right over here. Two blades. Pretty fancy, man. Wait, we've already taken out New Zong? That really didn't take a long time. Let's watch him defeat that guy. Oh, ouch. Good job, Satsu. Now the battle is beginning. The charges are happening on my front lines. Their horsemen have already made contact. My other infantry are holding here. Their archers are still hitting me, too. That's pretty brutal. There they go. But their archers are still being bombarded by my trebuchet. Zhang Fei is currently trying to go after my strategist over here, Guo Jia, and is killing many, many of my own crossbowmen. Hopefully they'll be able to hold on. They'll be wandering all around. Zhao Dun is currently over here with my horsemen, taking out their horsemen on the right flank. Their archers are mostly fleeing right now, which leaves largely their infantry here to fight me. Liu Bei is now moving in to fight. You can see how bloody things are already. There was a chance for Zhang Fei and Cao Cao to fight. Right now, all of my archers are sending their volleys into one location. Sure, there's some friendly fire, but look at how many we're sending in. A lot of them are now beginning to run. With all of my archers, I can easily dictate a fight. Here comes more of my G militia now charging in from behind on my left flank. Easily taking them out. If we zoom back out, we can see more G militia moving away. Zhang Fei is killing more of my soldiers. Zhou Dun and now Sat Cao are going after Liu Bei. The goal is to either kill him or capture him. I'm going to let you know right now. I probably will not kill Liu Bei. There are certain characters I won't be killing early on. I want to see what will happen to them. Now, if I take their town and they die, I can't really help that. But if I can maybe give them a shot at living or joining me, that would be really cool. Like Zhang Fei or Guan Yu, I would love for them to join me. They would be great to have. So now, let's zoom out real quick and look at what's happening. A few archers are, are trying to come back. My horsemen are now moving out, though. They'll be chasing after anyone who is breaking and fleeing or who's still out there like a bunch of archers. My leadership is now going after Liu Bei again. If we beat Liu Bei, they may all break. They do have a few men who are left right now. 
SUG Militiamen. That was another really good charge. He'll probably break very soon. He's wavering now. If they take down Liu Bei, that would be ideal. Well, Jia took a lot of damage and nearly died. It was a very close call. Now all of their G militia is fleeing and we're trying to chase down Liu Bei or we will try to chase him down. Zhang Fei is now also fleeing. Zhang Fei got over 200 kills. If he stayed in that fight, he would have gotten many more. Liu Bei only 62. Now we're chasing after Zhang Fei. If we damage him more and more, eventually we'll bring him down too. My horsemen are moving out. The goal is to go after Liu Bei and potentially wound him. But the battle's over. My only goal right now is to just take out whoever's left. We can zoom out and watch that happen right now. Zhang Fei is nearly taken down. Liu Bei is also nearly taken down. We might have a pretty good chance here at getting Zhang Fei. Let's go look over here real quick. 6.4k health left. 3.4k. It was a very costly fight. Because I had a better army format, I was able to take the fight to them. But man, I've got to destroy Liu Bei. There we go. Get back up, you coward. That's really mean. You can't get back up. And over here, Liu Bei is fleeing too. Normally I don't show off like the rotting scene, but because we're taking on Liu Bei, I feel like I should. He's like, man, I'm having a bad day. I'm just trying to get out of here. I'm trying to be benevolent and all that. Are we going to be able to get him? I suppose we'll find out now. Let's see him out again. Okay, 4.7k. 2.2k. Wait. We got him. Liu Bei is now done for. That's got to hurt. Poor guy. The battle is over. We've done it. We beat Liu Bei. We captured Liu Bei. I could kill him, but if I do so, his friends will hate me. One day, I want a few of his friends to join me, like Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and even Gong Sun Zan, if he survives. I'll let you go for now. I would love to kill you, but I'll let you go for now. Let them go. It was a really it good fight. Not. Now we can take up some more replenishment. Zhang Fei was terrifying, by the way. By. That guy could have beaten any of my leaders. Can I push on and eliminate his entire army? Let's find out. I mean, he could die here. That's a choice, too. Later, pal. My tactics were unmatched. Not bad. They're all gone now. You we'll take more replenishment me. again. Oh, he's pretty mad at me. Liu Bei is now my rival. Our forces met in battle. My army was clearly superior. And the enemy was easily overcome. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. There's no one I want to hire. I built up my lands and I would love to come down here and take that temple. Let's move back. His other army is also very weak. We should be able to fend him off too. But I suppose we'll find out very soon. Alright, I have some money. Can I spend it anywhere? Nope. I'll save it up then. After that, if we can replenish quickly will be able to move on and conquer more of the lands of Liu Bei. Brothers in arms. Okay, now Xia Dun and Sun Tzu are even closer. Ten more satisfaction. It's been a long time since you've seen your sworn kin. China is vast and the country's needs are many. You've been separated in the name of progress. Well, hold on. No, they haven't. He's been in my army the entire time. <laughs> Hey, man, I haven't seen you in forever. All right. It's time for me to take a temple. That now belongs to me. It's a minor battle. We'll auto-resolve. Now I really do need to heal up. I wonder, do I own all of Ping Ching now? Let's find out. I do. Cool. Grand Temple of the Way. No, I don't like that way. Well, I like my way, but not that way. Grand Temple City of Confucius. Oh, look at that. Plus 10 to satisfaction. Faction-wide. 
What a powerful building. And we have our Confucian Temple too. Dang. We have so much going on here. Okay, while we wait, why don't we recruit more? Tiger and Leopard Calf. I would love to pick you up. I finally have money for you, but again, I've got to wait a little bit longer. More crossbows would be cool. Yeah, I'll take two more. Then, for a new reform, I really wonder what would benefit me. Another trade agreement would, sure. More public order. More income in general. Hmm. Why don't we come over here and we'll work on getting more food for my people. Agricultural tax relief. China thrives when its people thrive. They should not be burdened by undue tithes and burdensome debts. Agreed. I'm trying to be balanced what here. Do you wish, my lord? I have a lot of food, but I could have more than I could begin to trade it if I so choose to. Okay, I'm taxing everyone, correct? I am. Good, good. Let us draw our plan. Okay, we have a full army. There's no one I want to hire right now. I could send out another character on assignment. Let's go back to the court real quick. Okay, my dear wife, you need a roll. There you go. Now, don't be angry with me anymore. <laughs> we'll put her over Dong Hai for right now. Gojia, I feel like you don't need that roll. Yao Shun, I know who you are, but I don't need you in my army. There's my faction heir, only eight years old. There's my sworn brother. He's very happy, too. If I take you from your role, though, you'll be pretty unhappy about it. I can't promote you again. We'll keep him there for now. I like him a lot. All right. So we own more than ever. Liu Bei is pretty darn weak, I'm sure. Let's go look at diplomacy. Oh, God. The map rotated. Yeah, Liu Bei owns a lot of land. Yuan Shao. I wonder. Do you like me? They're stronger than I am. Okay, they do not pose a threat to me. Liu Bei still has comparable power to me. That's a worry. That really is a worry. Okay. Any deals we can make? Really? Why would I want to do that? I don't want to do that. I could form a new coalition. It really depends on who would like to form one. Is he wrong? No. Feng Zhao, you're way too tiny. Liu Biao, maybe later. How's Yuan Shu doing? Yuan Shu is not doing well. Hmm. We'll leave them all alone. Why don't we get some people to like us? Yeah. I was hoping Yuan Shu would be able to last, but it didn't happen. Okay. Liu Biao, I do not want you this to fight me. Short. You now border me. Liu Bei, no, no, don't care about you. I'm looking for me. There we go. Okay, plus 22 relations. You want Shao? Maybe I should get you to like me more too. How can we help each other? Sure. Come on down. I will take this into consideration. Yeah, he likes me more. He's a greater power than I am. Then we can get Liu Biao and Yu Wan Shao to disagree. Those two can fight as well. I could get Yuan Shao to attack the Obey, but no, I want to do that. I don't want him to take lands for me. Hold on, let's go back one more time. We'll go over here to, where is he at? There we go, there's Yuan Shu, here's Liu Bao. I keep rotating the map, Come, my bad. Let us talk. Well, no, 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 hold on. I'll do it based off of Yuan Shao. Welcome, friend. We can't engage in too much here. Why don't you dislike another more powerful character like Liu Biao? Oh, they're not going to get along now. Good. You should know that he thinks you smell a lot. Oh. Tashi C is over here? I would love to capture him. Man, he should join me. I wish I could get him to join me. He's a really cool guy. As you can tell, he's very talented. I wonder if I could reach him and beat him and then get him to join me. Anyway, I'm busy. I can't focus on that guy for now. My lord. Okay, we get to replenish over here. Who am I going to send out? I am converting a building. I would like to build up a few buildings too. I could convert it. 
I'm getting more replenishment up by 5%. No, that's pretty good too. All right, Ping Ching, what about you? He's over in Chen. So Chen has a administrator. All right. Dong Hai. I'll give you Zaren. Oh, she's not very happy. Why not? Do you want some roll? Is that what you want? Hmm. 1200. Lack of purpose. I understand. Okay. I don't have a lot of court positions for you. I banish her. Her husband might be angry with me. Show you on. I know that you need a roll too, man. You don't have one. One day though, one day. Once again, He's been waiting I out over here for a long, long time. I've been keeping him out here, so I'm gonna let him go hunt down Tashi C. He was a great deterrent. I intentionally kept him out there. That way he would be able to deter my foes from wanted to come down here to fight me. Alright, you're take that iron snake. You'll get more expertise. You already have a herdsman. You've got really good armor. You've got your family spear. It's not very good. The heirloom spear is much better. I'll give you that now. Yeah, let's begin to work on him. I'm glad we kept him up. See, my fear would be that someone would declare war on me over to the west. I'm way over here. It'll take me way too long to get over there. I would lose a lot. Okay, when we're back, we'll begin by continuing to replenish our numbers. And then later, we'll go after more lands of Liu Bei. Leave a like and comment down below. and look forward to more tomorrow. And let me know what you think we should do in the future. And as always, until then.